Let's solve one previous question of mathematical logic. This question was asked in GATE CS 2021 set 1 question number 7. Let P and Q be two propositions. Consider the following two formulae in propositional logic. S1 is negation of P and P or Q whole implies Q. S2 is Q implies negation P and P or Q. Which one of the following choice is correct and four options are given. In four option it is written about the tautology. One compound proposition will be tautology if its truth value are true. We can solve in different way. Here I will solve in two way. One is by truth table. Another is I will use the basic implication rule. We know P implies Q will be false if P is true and Q is false. I will just use this rule and I will try to prove that these are tautology or not. So first S1 negation of P and P or Q. So this part I will try to prove as true and this part I will try to prove as false. So I am solving in contradict way. If it will be false then it is not tautology. If it is not false means it is a tautology. So let me consider Q as false and first part is true. So here P I can consider as true or false. Let me take P as false. So when P will be false, negation P will be true. Then P or Q. P is false, Q is false. So false or false, it's false. Now true and false, true and false, it's false. In case of conjunction, true and true will be true, rest it is false. Here true and false, it's false. Now false implies false, it's true. Now check when P is true. In case of P is true, negation P will be false. Then P is true and Q is false. So true or false, it's true. Now false and true. False and true, it will be false. In case of and, only true and true is true. Rest, it is false. False implies false, it's true. And here we consider Q as false. When Q will be true, there is no chances of false, right? So in case of implication, when P is true, Q is false, only it is false, rest it is true. So when Q will be true, it will be true. And when P is false, it will be true. So we found S1 is a tautology. Next we will solve S2. So Q implies this, let Q as true, true implies false, it's false. And we'll try to make this second part as a false. So here I can consider P as a true or false. Let me take P as a true. So when P will be true, now negation P, it will be false, then true or true. True or true, it's true. Then false and true, it will be false. Now true implies false, it's false. As we found, it's false, so it's not a tautology. You don't need to check further. Let me check for P false. When P is false, negation P will be true. Then P is false or true. Q is true. Now false or true, it will be true. True and true, it's true. So true implies true, it's true. When P is false, it's true. But when P is true, it's false. As for P true and Q true, it's false. So it's not a tautology. We found S1 is tautology while S2 is not tautology. Let's solve by the truth table method. So there are two propositional variables. That's why there will be four rows. Now true, true, false, false, true, false, true, false. Next we will find negation P. Negation P will be just reverse of P. It will be false, false, true, true. Next P or Q. In case of or, false or false is false, rest it is true. 
so all are true only false or false is false now i'll find negation p and p or q in case of and true and true will be true rest it is false next we'll find negation p and p or q implies q so false implies true it will be true false implies false it will be true now true implies true it's true false implies false it's true so all are true s1 is a tautology as all truth value are true next we'll check s2 q implies negation p and p or q so true implies false it's false then false implies false it's true true implies true it's true false implies false it's true so here it's false when p is true q is true it's false here we created the whole table in previous explanation i just took some truth value from p and q like in first case i considered q as a false like these two then p true and p false next in s2 i considered q as a true then p can be true and false you can create the whole truth table or simply take some truth value from p and q and check it so here we found s1 is a tautology while s2 is not a tautology i already discussed about tautology during the lecture just go through the lecture and if this lecture is helpful for you please like share and subscribe Thank you.